Hello, my friends. Let's practice two more phrasal verbs. The phrasal verbs we will practice today use food or kitchen vocabulary, but are often used in other contexts than food. Let's start with mix up. Mix is a word we use often in the kitchen, but when we put it with up, mix up has a very different meaning. The present tense is mix up and the past tense is mixed up. Mixed up. Let's look at an example. It's easy to mix up the twins because they look so similar. My friends, when you have two things that look or are similar to each other and you accidentally mistake one of them for the other, you can say you mixed them up because mix up means to confuse one person or thing with another. So sometimes you may hear someone say, oh, I mixed up, or oh, I mixed up those two things. And it means they are confused. They confused one thing for another. Another use of mix up is this. I organized all these papers in the correct order, but you mixed them up. My friends, what do you think mix up means in this context. It is not really confused, but it more means that the order or arrangement of a group of things was changed. So in this context, the person changed the order of all the papers. Maybe the papers were in alphabetical order, A, B, C, D, E, but this person took them out of al alphabetical order and mixed them up. This phrase is not necessarily negative or positive. It can be used in both types of situations. For example, maybe I want to change the seating in my classroom so I can mix up the students. In this case, it's not a bad thing. In this case with the papers, it is not positive, but it can be used in both positive or negative situations. The next phrasal verb for today is blend in. Blend in or blended in would be the past. Blended in. Let's look at an example of blend in. Some animals can blend into their surroundings in order to avoid predators. If an animal has a predator, it is talking about a different animal that will usually eat them. So it's very common for some animals like this lizard here to blend in in order to avoid these predators or other dangerous animals. So my friends, what is this lizard doing exactly? Blend in means to camouflage or match the background. So in this case, this animal, this lizard is camouflaging or it is changing colors to match the background. So it's more difficult to see this animal. So it's very common to use this with animals, but we can also use it with people. If someone is wearing clothing so they fit in with the background, we can say they are blending in. Right now, my friends, I am not blending in. My background is tan and black, and my shirt is bright red. So I am doing the opposite of blending in with my background. Let's look at one more example of blend in that is often used with people. And the meaning is a little bit different, so I wanted to share this too. Maybe we have this young girl here. Look at her clothes. Maybe her clothes are not typical of other teenagers her age. So we can say she bought new clothes so she could blend in better at school. So maybe after she looks more like a typical teenager because she changed her clothes. 
If you blend in with other people, it means you look or act like other people in that crowd. So for example, for this girl, she bought new clothes so she could look similar to other teenagers around her. Another example of this phrasal verb blend in is fit in. The phrasal verb fit in is very similar to this meaning of blend in. My friends, as always, let me know if you have questions, but practice, practice, and never give up.